everybody, Cherish Missy Painter here. Today I'm going to be doing a painting with Amsterdam's awesome pearl interference colors. They are so cool. Um, they don't usually show up uh, their color until they're dry, so I cannot wait to see what happens with this painting. It is going to be a ring pour. My colors are all mixed with Ogasobi's pouring medium recipe, except I have tweaked the recipe just a little bit to make it thicker for what I want for my ring pour. Um, I am an affiliate of her class and if you would like to take it, uh, I have a link down below that does help me uh, gain a small uh, commission for that and I also have a coupon code that will save you 10% which can add up quite quickly. So um, I have gold here by Liquitex mixed with, believe it or not, pearl violet and pearl red and pearl white. And it made this really, really cool peachy shimmer color. I love it, it's so cool. Um, my other colors are the pewter. I have the pearl red, I have the pearl yellow, I have the pearl green, I have the pearl white that was mixed in with the uh, to make the peach color, and then the pearl uh, violet. I am super excited to do this. This is a 12 by 24 uh, level two canvas. It is. It has been, uh, checked twice now to make sure it is completely level so that I can leave it here to dry overnight. I'm excited for this. This is probably going to be a mess. Wish me luck. Okay, let me say that I did pearl yellow and then I did pearl red, then I did pewter, then I just did uh, pearl violet, and now I'm gonna do the peachy orange, the peachy gold shimmer. I believe this is the green. Some more pewter. That was pearl red. This is pearl yellow. Some more green. I hope that's green. Yeah, I think that's green. some more of the peach. All right, that should be plenty of paint to start off with. Let's see how this goes. I decided to add some more so I just put the peachy gold in there I put the yellow uh, pearl yellow and then I put the uh, pearl red and I'm gonna add it to the middle just to see what happens I definitely have plenty of paint on here. Oh yes, there's plenty of paint on here. All right, let's see how I do this.
Okay, right now everything looks very beige and yellow. From what I can see on camera, I think it even looks very beige and, and yellow. Um, we will see what happens. I kind of wish I used a little bit more pewter, but I am going to stick to this and say I'm not touching it. I am going to hire it up to the, to the camera so you guys can see a little bit of the shimmer that I can see. Can you see the shimmer that I can see? I hope you can. The camera is really up high, so I can't really tell. But, oh my God, it's so cool. I am a little bit concerned that um, it will just look yellow, like I said. But I'm hoping that some of the ribbon will show up. Um, I think it definitely will over here. Um, I cannot wait to see what this looks like. I'm super excited. All right, you guys will be seeing the dried results in a few seconds, but if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I have been stirring paint for a very long time for this painting, so wish me luck that it dries awesome. Thank you for watching. I am so happy with how this turned out and how it dried. It is great, I love it. Um, if you look in certain light, you can see that Amsterdam Pearl Violet and the Amsterdam Red turned more pink. Um, there's some of that uh, yellow in there. I think maybe the green might be a little bit in the background, like right here, um, but I am so excited how this came out. It almost looks very earthy in some light, and then other light, it's just so shimmery. I absolutely love it. I have just a little bit more of this paint left over, so I'm probably gonna do another small one or um, I'm gonna get ready to do one on a dark background. I can't wait to see what that looks like um, with some, maybe some dark blue, It'd be really cool. Um, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you all in the uh, next video. Thank you so much for watching.